Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Shadow Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Shadowcrafts. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've been following along the whole time, then thank you. I have made a playlist. If you haven't uh, watched any of my previous videos on tutorials and the series to make this make a bit more sense. And anyway, today we're going to kick off with something we haven't actually done in a while, which is the tower. So here we go. there we go we are done for now as you can see the tower is building up shape you can see the sides how they're starting to thin out i'm going to make the layers taller as they go up and hopefully i can reach about that high there maybe even higher maybe the sky limit that sunset is really beautiful by the way anyway um let's go and do what we're going to do today so i want to build up some structures today uh, around my farms to get this sort of futuristic city sort of cyberpunk thing started off and i think what i'm going to do today is build a uh, housing around this sugarcane farm which i did actually build last episode and that's how much it's produced so far um and that's after about 20 minutes ish Something else I do want to do today is get another farm done. I also need to show you what I'm working on down below. Um, so we're just going to go head over down below now, which is actually just underneath the sugarcane farm here. Uh, but yes, the structure for this, it won't be a tower yet, but I'll just build like the base foundations. I want to get some of your guys' uh, comments on it as well, just to see what you think see what I could change but if we just head down here you'll see that I've actually got this big old space dug out and this is where I'm going to be putting village crop farms so in this corner I'm going to have carrots and then if we head over this way also I built this really nice staircase out of slabs um, basically if we head down here into the cylinder I'm going to have one of these in each of the four corners corners I know it's a circle but um, but also when uh, I build the cylinder up, there is going to be no way, way in, so I probably might have garage doors on like either side, and then uh, obviously I'm going to dig this all the way down as well, so we'll have to figure that out. But I'm going to have village crop farm in each corner. I also need to get this storage system up, sorted out. So the farms are in each corner, so I'm going to have potatoes, carrots, beets, and wheat. Um, the basic design I've got here is by somewhere else, uh, someone else. Uh, I will leave their channel link in the description and the tutorial video in the description as well. And we're just gonna head over to Mob Farm to fix our pickaxe up. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what's going on today. And uh, three, two, one. So basically today what I want to do is get a cactus farm built. I want to try and get a super smelter done. Uh, obviously build up a structure and then maybe do one or two other things as well. Um, so the cactus farm there, super easy to build, but they've only really got one use, which is green dye, which is actually what I need because I've got plenty of white dye from uh, this farm here. but. I need quite a lot of green dye to make uh, lime green dye, which is going to be basis for this top layer, because it's sort of all like green things. So it's going to head over to the um, desert biome right now, and we're just going to grab some sand so that we can go and make uh, this cactus farm. Actually, I. 
before I grab sand, I think I've got some back at the base. We'll grab cactus instead. I'm just going to kill these guys before I go to bed. Um, we'll grab some cactus in the morning. Right, I'm just going to chuck myself over to near the mesa thing. And we're going to have to look for some cactus over there. Uh, so, here we go. That's one. Done, done, done. Done, done, aha, done, 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 done. I also found this random boat. Uh, must have been from a past time. I don't know where it's come from, but uh, hmm, it's just it's gonna leave it there. I also decided to get some uh, pickles because obviously lime green dye, and I might make a pickle farm as well. Um. I also found some more uh, ores, decided to mine them. I also found this little well thing, I don't know what they're for. Grab some more cactus. Uh, found some more ore, dug that out. Found a lovely little mountain, took a screenshot for later things. Uh, and then I went to the top and stole the emeralds from it, which were right in the centre. And then I actually decided to fly back to the uh, farms islands just because I couldn't be able to go through the portal. Found that lovely island there. Might do something with that. And here we are. So let's get started with this cactus farm. So I've just planned out an area. And here we go. Basically I've dug out a 17 by 17 area. And I've placed in blocks one apart going left, right, forward and backward. Uh, basically cacti grow diagonally but if you grow them like this it's fine put all the sand in above blocks because obviously sand is gravitational so it will fall uh, just like that and then what we can do is just get out this hole just like this then what we need to do is put fences uh, one block up in between all the sand so that when the cactus grows it breaks and falls down into our collection system where I'll put underneath uh, which is where the big hole is underneath and we're just going to go and make some fences uh, I guess we can make birch ones. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're going to cover it up from the outside anyway. And I'm probably also going to do some more farms like this just around the centre um, on each corner as well. Um, I have a list of every single farm that you can make in the game so I'll see what other ones that I can add that I can make square like this. But yeah, just for now we're going to stick with this one. So the... Um, fence posts need to go uh, up one block and then up another block just like this and they need to be placed in between or on every side of each of these sand blocks just a quick note I also placed in the cacti in as well and that's where you're going to see it at the end so I actually I decided to finish the rest of that off camera it is the next day now and this is uh, how much I've got just from logging on after about 20 minutes of AFK which is pretty good. Um, this is only an approximate amount because it's kind of random because sometimes you can lose cactus to the other cacti because obviously they uh, get destroyed. Also, I want to try and build this up as tall as I can. Also, you can make this wider to be make it more efficient and taller to make it more efficient as well. There's a collection system down there. You can see with the water. It pushes it all into the chest, which I've got down the bottom. And... Um, I might actually just build up a building for this today as well. Uh, I think that might be one of the other two things I do. So we're just going to grab all of this cactus. And obviously to uh, make it into dye, what you need to go and do is you need to go and smelt it. So that's what we're going to do just over here. Just like this. Chuck it all in the furnace. Speaking of which, I need a super smelter. It's been a long time coming. It probably should have been one of the first things that I did. Because, uh, yeah, I've got a lot to smell. Anyway, we're just going to head back over to the desert to grab some sand. Because it turns out I don't actually have any. Um, we're just going to fly down to here. And... It is still night time, which means I need to pop into bed quickly. And uh, I'll grab some sand in the morning. There we go. Uh, also, I found some rooted dirt on the way here. Can't remember where I found it. Just going to mine some sand. And there we go. Got about that much. And just like that. It's in our inventory. 
Uh, we're just going to head back and here we are. So I actually did all the uh, grinding of the... Uh, well, no, building of the uh, exterior of camera. And this is the kind of design I'm going for. So if you like it, please do let me know and comment down below how I could improve it or what you might like to see. Um, my friend over at Creason Characters has been making some futuristic building designs, so I might use those as well. But I'll have a bit of a deeper dive into this futuristic theme for the island. Anyway, I think we are going to have to wrap it up there, and I might actually do the Super Smelter tutorial later today as a, well, tutorial. <laughs> Spoiled a bit there. But, um, yeah, I'll do that actually on this world in survival, so that it's in the world and it's a tutorial as well. Uh, nice and easy to follow. If you do want to see more, obviously do like and subscribe, and obviously comment down below on... Um, whether you think the buildings were good, whether the structures are good, and anything else that you might want to comment on is fine with me, and I will try to get back to you. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.